Wednesday night on Top Deck Productions. What does that mean, John Douglas? That means that I'm here with me. Change the scroller on the bottom to be a little more accurate. And here is a circuitous route. This is going to help card. help his uh, Matt go get a couple So I have an here. aside here. A side. And a side. And a side. Um, we've been talking about different cards that we'd like to see printed in this Modern Horizon set. Is circuitous route the one you'd like to see printed? No, that's already legal and modern, and therefore it cannot be printed in this set. Okay. What card do you think should get printed? Astral Slide. Just give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Do we have... What are the cycling lands? So the cycling lands are just the dual ones from yeah. the Amaket block, right? Not nearly as good, correct. Um, you could even reprint the cycling lands. Um... Because we've got life from the loam. We've got life from the loam. So this could get very serious very quickly. Very grindy very quickly. I mean. It's not going to do anything very quickly. Let's be real. But. No, it would. that would be a complete grind fest. I, I just want my astral slide back. I would never play a competitive modern deck again. <laughs> I would just play astral slide. Astral slide. You would become the foremost astral slide player in in all of all of modern, would you travel to tournaments to play Astral Slide? Uh, depends on how competitive it was. Okay. And it may already be the foremost Astral Slide player because I played that in Commander for a really <laughs> long time. <laughs> all right, Tony's giving this one a hard think. He's at eight. He's, he's got he's an definitely angel. stabilized. This gate stack doesn't do a ton. So we've got a Seraph. Of the scales, so which we can give death touch, so we can trade it off. Yep. But he's just dead to like a gates ablaze, I think. No, he's get got the F as the afterlife. Right, but the ram has trample and vigilance. The ram is two plus six is eight exactly. So you can block it with one token. It'd be at one. I mean, assuming he doesn't play a land here. Oh, we're gross spiraling. <coughs> we're going for the kill. All right. Three, six, seven. So it's a nine, nine. Ram. 
<coughs> Matt's only got three cards left, and I don't know what they are. One of them is a Gatecrasher Colossus. Okay. So that's a big, a big deal. I would offer the trade on the Ram before I played the Colossus. I guess you're trading this Ram regardless. Block, death touch. All right, so he's going to take, what do we say, five here, four here? Five. five. Um, he gets a couple chump blockers. Oh, no, they, they can't block this Colossus. So Tony still needs an answer here. More land. Colossus cannot be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Okay, so no little guys blocking this Colossus. Only the big ones. Uh, it looks like Tony has a seal away. Seal away, seal away, seal away. That'll be good. Um, wholly ineffective against the ram. Tony might be able to turn the corner here. So the seal away is a perfect kind of removal for the Colossus because it's returned from the graveyard when a gate enters the battlefield. Another Seraph. Another Seraph. And so the token should attack because they can't block, right? Yeah. There we go. Tony swinging that out. Perfect. Into it. Into it like QuickBooks. That was another land. I think I saw the Archway Angel in there to gain him a billion life. I would have sandbagged one of those lands if I were Matt. You don't know what's going to happen to the... The third ram. Colossus. The third ram's always the worst one. All right. He's getting sealed away. All right. Now we have to deal with this billion, billion ram. The yeah, ram is huge. Spell off the top. He's got plenty. I mean, looks like a Lyra. Can he race <clears throat> the ram? So, let's see. We give the Seraph Death Touch and Life Link, right? No, you give the Seraph Vigilance. Vigilance. All right. So I don't know what else is in Tony's hand, but if he plays the Lyra, uh, he can give the Seraph Vigilance and swing in with the Seraph and gain five. Oh, is the Seraph going to gain lifelink from Lyra? Yeah. Oh, that's a big deal. Nope, he's gonna, is he going to pass? What's this? Oh, jeez. Okay. He might have a removal spell. He's got to have a removal spell. I mean, that's the only thing. I mean, he's like basically daring Matt to kill him. Oh, he has an electric dominance the Lyra into play. <laughs> he lives for this. Electro dominance. So X is five. And here's a Lyra. And now the Lyra has first strike. So did the electric dominance get to deal damage to the ram? Uh, I don't know where he dealt the damage with the electric dominance. Kind of looks like he sent it to the dome. Deals X damage to any target. You may cast a card with more mana cost X. So, so yeah, the Lyra is first strike. Is the ram less than 10? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. The ram is 11. So that matters. Tony Mason's going to gain 10. He's going to get four flyers, and here's a gate to blaze. Nope. All right. You think this is the archway angel that you saw? Archway angel is going to gain a good Julian life. And then Matt is Hellbent, I believe. Yep. Tony with one card in hand. 
still one card. Passes the turn. Maybe it's another seal away. That'd be neat. I can get down with the seal away. It's a lot of, oh no. Here is explosion. Blowing them up for six. That's a nice top deck. Just put it right at Tony, and this is going to really give him. He drew two gates of blaze. Probably not going to use those. Here's another Colossus. This one's free. This one don't cost me nothing. Um, you block with one of these bad boys. Oh, we're flashing in an Angel of Grace. Okay. I ain't mad about it. Angel of Grace can block. He can return his life total to 10. Tokens for four here. I don't hate this, like, holding on. I was very skeptical of Angel of Grace. Mm hmm And, uh... I think we're going to see what kind of situation it can generate here. And here's the Gates of Blaze. I'm going to take down the Colossus and all the tokens. We have the Gate to bring it back. I think he has another <coughs> Colossus in hand. Sure. Here's Growth Spiral. And draw that Colossus. And now we play two Colossus. Dueling Colossuses. There we go. So right. he puts his life total to 10. He only needs one removal spell now for this first Colossus. Well, I'd like to have the removal spell for both of them. Ideally, yes. There's another Lando. We have a Justice Strike for one of them. Justice Strike, and he's going to go to two. All right, Tony's playing off the top. Yeah, playing off the top here. I haven't seen his list. Archangel. Oh, not confident in the Kaya's off the top. Yep. So that's that one. Uh, looks like Matt just kind of got out to a little bit of a better start there, whereas Tony... Didn't have the removal for those early Rams. Mm -hmm. And that really got the ball rolling. Yeah. Uh, so that's how this Gates deck works. It operates on like a corner of the metagame where if you're playing a very aggressive deck, it's very difficult for the Gates deck to stabilize. If they lean super heavily on Gates of Blaze. Uh -huh. But if you're playing like one of these mid-range decks that hopes to uh, prey on the aggro decks. Yeah. This is just going to go way bigger. Sure. Where would the Astral Slide deck fit into the modern metagame? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. It would not be good. It would no. It would be very bad. Although they could also reprint Containment Priest, and then we're we've got an engine going. Yeah, then we got we've got a, a thing. We can do a thing then. We can do exactly one thing. All right. And that is lose to a turn three Karn as always. It, I mean, if you're not doing that, you're not playing modern, right? That's true. So if you guys are out there designing modern decks, look at it, lay it out. Say, does this lose to a turn three Karn? If you said yes, you're on the right path. You're playing modern. You're playing modern. Everything loses to a turn three Karn. And if you beat the turn three Karn, you probably lose to everything else. <laughs> or your cards are going to become valueless soon because your deck is going to get banned. Because we can't just have decks running around beating turn three Karns. That's oh, yeah? unacceptable. Is that unacceptable for you? Unacceptable. I think we're going to get the chat flashed in here. I'd like to see some chat, but you know what? If you guys are in the chat, feel free to chat it up. 
the... We can't see it currently. So if you you've been chatting, it. I apologize. The spotter monkey will get to you. Spotter doing a great job. Lots of transitions. Lots of setups down there. I think there's some things going on because... Jake Valentine's ever present, milling about. Yeah, he got to buy this round, so he's uh, yeah, so very happy to just know, be sitting back there and meddling. Life's rigged. Rubbing his hands together. You guys are on a separate screen, RN. I don't know what that means. There, oh, wait a minute. Can we drop that in? No? We're not allowed to have the chat box? We just got a little glimpse. We got a little hint, a taste of what it must like to be. To interact, I can, but I can't see where it's going. Okay, Whoa. we'll oh. we'll direct you. So bring it onto the screen. Here we go. More to the right. A little more. A little more. A little more. Oh, just a little bit. Give me a little move. Keep. Yep. A scooch. Just scooch, a scooch. 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 Perfect. Scooch, scooch more. Don't scooch more. That's good. Yeah. Is that good? All right. It's a little big. Can you resize it to be a little smaller? Start in the top left corner and just bring it down a little bit. Probably not if you can't see the box <laughs> resizing it. Well, he can't see where it's at on our screen, but he can see the box. Can he see? Turn three car and hasn't met my rack. can't see anything oh, okay. Yet. Yeah, that's fine then. We'll deal with this. We can't see Tony, but. Well, yeah, we can't see Tony's player. He's got a basic or he's got a land, I think. We can fix it. Sure. We'll fix it in round two. Jokes are for people who understand things. We That's understand true. a great many things here on Top Deck Productions. Things are tough. We understand that Matt... I understand that. Matt's playing the heck out of some promos. Yeah. He's got these sweet lands, the gross pile promo, the gate colossus promo. I'm I'm here for it. Here is Guild Summit. Yeah, this card is very good in this deck. So this is a great spot to have it, too. So we, we talked a little bit about this card last week, where it can start as a... Like, if you just play it on three, you get to, like, draw off every land drop. Oh, we're mortifying it. Oh, jeez. Nice Tony, play by Tony. Tony, do you like that play? Yeah, very heads up. All right. You are not winning any game where that he gets on tap with that. Sure. Especially with all your one-for-one one removal. Unfortunately, he also has the ram. Yes. That's fair. Um, heart. They also put these lands in the... Um, what are they called? Standard showdown packs. That's true. Uh, so so you, you don't need any friends. You what? just need standard showdown. Oh, or the rhythm of the wild. This is a rhythm of the wild. Um, Can't say I'm a huge fan of that. My version of the song or both? The oh, card, both, goodness. I can't see it. anything. Oh, now, we're now, now we don't have the now chat we can anymore. See everything minus the chat. The chat's the most <sighs> important part. It's all right. We, we love you guys. Oh, nice. Look at how nice the oh, chat yeah. is now. It's a reasonable size. Do you need me to gu guide you through moving this? Okay, bring the chat down. All right, bring your cursor in, and we'll tell you where to grab the bar. Uh, to the left. Bring your cursor to the left. Down. More to the left. Got it. Oh, up. 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 Got it. All right, grab it. Now bring it down. To the right. To the right. Further down. To the right. To the right. A little bit more. A little bit right. All right, now oh. put the top down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> Don't do that. That's perfect. It's your feminine win. Yep. <laughs> yes. There's, like, a very specific name for that, like, audio, like, that trick where you, like, play something backwards. It's got, like, a very weird specific name. I forget what context somebody said it in. Huh. It was really weird. Sounds right. really weird. So here's a circuitous route into a clear board. Yeah. Um, Tony's been able to neutralize Matt's threats much more readily this game. So you see there's a nice high life total. Here's a white card. It's a knight or a, an angel of grace, not a knight of grace. Angel of grace. Tony's 
Tony can go back to 10 so many times. Yes. Get a crush the canopy. Crushing canopy. Best of one all-star crushing canopy. Seraph eats a counterspell. Here's a Sinister Sabotage. Once again, a promo. For so certain, it's just in there because it's a promo. Yeah. I think some of these decks are supposed to play main. Play a couple. Okay. A couple, three of them. Here is a fat Hydroid Crassus. It's a big old Crassus. Five fiver. Cinco de Cinco. Draw two. So this would be a good opportunity for Tony to land a Lyra. Yeah, Lyra is going to pair up well here. It costs two less than the Crassus. So we'd still have some room left over for any number of amazing two drops. Not sure what Tony has in his hand. Not quite sure either. Unfortunately, that is the one part of the screen that we have to obstruct so that we can see the chat. That's all right. You guys are worth it out there. So you guys can tell us what Tony has in his hand. A lot of decks play the one rhythm, I guess. A lot of the gate stacks, I'm saying. Well, that's interesting. Here right. is a random Orzov split card. Yeah, this one is Lyra Wrath. Oh, is that what is in his hand? I was going to go for Gem Palm Polluter. Oh, no, what happened to the chat? It's fine. Chat's back. Sweet. Chat's back. <laughs> So, yeah, here's a expansion explosion. You're going to explode, Tony. Draw a couple cards here. A couple three on four. Holy smokes. Plays a gate. Moves on with life. Into it. So, here we go, Tony. Not missing any land drops There's either. There's the Aurelia. Eight mana for an Aurelia. Or eight mana available, four for an Aurelia. Show me the money. No money. No moss. If I'm to believe the moose heart, and I often do, I believe the last card is a Kaya's Wrath. The We're old moose heart, huh? We're going to start off with a growth spiral here. There's a gain three life thing. Look at my gates gate. Oh. And has another one as his land f drop for the turn. And we've got oh. a boatload of mana available. Let's see what it does. What it do? Um, I'd imagine we've got at least a Colossus in hand. Maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna tap two of these gates. We've got <coughs> All right, we'll lava coil. Take the two for one. Banded. So I don't think he's worried about the explosion part of that because he has this, the guild summit, tapping two gates as he comes in, and all subsequent gates will draw him a card. So we're a little late in the game for it, but it's still very good on a on a later turn. Gonna yield him some cards. Here's one. He's gonna draw an extra additional card. There he goes. Just keeping it rolling. Two. I think that other card is a Sinister Sabotage. Here's Circuitous Route. 
And you just put in the first two you see at this point, because it doesn't really matter what's in the deck. The old Consecrate Consume. The old Consecrate Consume. The two Orzhov cards both have, like, one very good mode and one pretty mediocre to not good mode. Yeah. When I was um, building my Mardu deck at the very beginning of the season, just, like, theory crafting it, yeah. I really wanted it to be, like, consume with the first part of the other one, but can't have it all. You can't. That's, There's the ram. That's not something. Here we go. We're going to ram it. Yeah, the Simic splits are the same way, where it's just like one that's good and one that's just never going to ever see play. Yeah. Although the Simic has um, some decent ones. They're not like on par with. I feel like the Rakdos one is really good. Yeah, the ping a thing or uh, blightening them. Yeah, the old ping a thing or blightening. But that's solely uh, reliant on how good ping something is, I guess. Right. I don't hate, like, an incidental damage. <laughs> I think it's pretty... Yes, pretty Zorius thing. did get the worst of it. Yeah, I think Azorius is hard because things are just... You, you know, you, you keep... Um, Keep making really good control cards, but there comes a time where we're like pushing it over that line. It's yeah. Too much. Too much, man. It's too much. Here's the wrath. All right. Which, in general, is a one for one. Not the best thing ever. Yeah, it's fine here. But against this gate stick, it's all right. He's so threat light that I'm not too worried about. Uh. Running out of removal stuff. I don't know if you're talking about Threat Light. How about a Night of Autumn? Yeah, this isn't a threat I expected to see. We're not Threat Light, we're Threat Night. You're right. <laughs> Here's another one. All right. Double Night. It's almost spring, but... In Matt's world, it's autumn. It's never going to be spring. Don't you lie to me. Winter is coming. Tony, slow rolling this if it's a removal spell. Yeah, because he's staring down dead. All right, don't, don't jump, don't jump to any conclusions. Here's eight. Contempt. So we'll get one, gain a contempt. couple life, go down to six. Goes down to six. The guild summit. Let's find out how many cards Matt's interested in. Looks like a bunch. Three, one, two. So that tells me he sideboarded out his gate colossuses. Right. Because if I have Gate Colossus in this deck, I'm going all in. And if I draw multiple, sweet. Here they come. Right. Dumped onto the board. Here's the gentleman. Gonna gain three more life here. Yeah, he's just got a billion cards in hand. Tony playing off the top of his deck. Not yeah, Tony, Tony being the control or the, the aggro deck roll here. Oh, here's a Crassus. Doesn't, uh, doesn't help him out. I mean, I think his deck's good. I don't hate it. Yeah, he just doesn't. But he's the he's aggro. Not an aggro. He's not yeah. an aggro deck. He's well, trying no, he's, to be a control. He's deck. an aggro deck, but in this matchup, the assignment is he's the the aggro deck. Whereas this gate deck is more of like an aggro control, where he can have. He can have quick starts, but he's also got a billion things removal and card advantage. Yeah, it's the card advantage that he can't keep up with. Out. The Watui. Yeah, so there's a lot of good spot removal out there right now. Yes. Um, very efficient, uh, nearly universal in some cases. Yeah. But like if you, you have three mana, you can get rid of something. Right. In the in the land of the Crassus, 
You can't just count on one for white, wanting everything. We live in a society. We live in a society where and Hydroid Crassus draws cards. Yes. It is taken. And demands an answer. It demands an answer. Immediately. But it's already done its damage. Yes. What what do you think a is there a counter spell that counters a card with X in the cost? Or do you think we just need one of those? I mean there's not in standard. Like one in a blue counter target spell with X in the cost. Are you a little bit drunk right now? Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> I wish. I would love to. I'm a much better host when I'm a little bit drunk. Yeah, just start sneaking some in. A little nip off the bring bottle. In, bring it in the Nalgene. <laughs> bring it in the Nalgene. The Nalgene smell a little strong today. Nalgene a little strong. Maybe bring in, bring in the, uh, the fun box. <laughs> they don't make those anymore, by the way. That really? Went out of business. That's a shame. <laughs> so there used to be this company that made uh, boxed vodka. <laughs> And it came in like a bladder, like a boxed wine does. And so you just had this bladder of vodka that you could, you know, take a little nip off of when you needed to. We're pretty degenerates. The worst slap the bag ever. Um, so, yeah. I think you definitely have to have a plan. Uh, that is that super linear in standard. Yeah, I think oh. you need to be super linear in standard right now. I don't think Saltai is where you want to be anymore. Okay. Um, I think the super linear decks are just much better. I think the best versions of those decks are going to have a plan to to really make up a ton of card advantage. No, I think they just want to get under it all. I think everybody just wants to get under it right now. Get under this. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, then, what's the response to that? I mean, we live in a society, so we live in a society. There's no like pyroclasm or something like that to punish it. Yeah, gates blaze. Yeah, I mean that's. A if thing you don't you see, do. but it, so if you don't play a deck, so say you're playing this get under a deck, mm -hmm. and you come up against a deck with spot removal, mm -hmm. the spot removal is good there. No, it's not. It's not. No. All right. So look at the get under it decks. We've got mono blue. Okay. Spot removal is awesome. There, shock against that deck is a nice one. Shock is nice, like when you can cast it. Yeah, on turn one. Yeah. Um. But yeah, usually what happens if you want to, you know, play some removal against that deck, you shock it. You set up with your sorcery speed, your you know lava coil. Mm hmm. And then you follow up with Shock or Lightning Strike when they go to Counterspell. Right. So the issue is, like, if you're running Shocks and Lava Coils as your removal, uh -huh. then if you run into, like, one of these other decks, this is what happened to Tony here, is he's set up to do that. Right. But if you run up against, like, a Gates deck or a Sultai deck, yeah. you're just done. There's no room. You just got to get under it all, man. There's no room. We just just gotta join the herd. We got to get under it. We got to play... Play the combat step. Everybody's attacking. Not everybody's blocking. Yes. Um, I think that's where you want to be in standard right now. Um, could change next week. It could change next week. It could change this weekend. Um, I don't know if there's any tournaments this weekend. Star City's doing regionals, which is modern. So I don't think there's any standard GPs. But Memphis is coming up. Or did Memphis already happen? Memphis happened. Before the Pro Tour, and then there was another one. L.A. was last weekend. L.A. was last weekend. How so about yeah. that popper? Yeah, man. They fired a big old popper tournament. Uh, I know they host popper here on Mondays. I don't know how well it's been firing. I've been working a lot yeah. on Monday nights. So it didn't fire for like a few. Like the, the holidays really messed it up because the first few weeks, everybody was here. But then there was like four weeks in a row where it was like, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, Eve, and then right. Martin Luther King Day, and there was a snow one in there yeah. where we were snowed in. Um, turn removal can't be considered good if you need two to get there. Uh, all right. I'll uh, 
I'll abide with that argument. Yeah. Um, I think you hit the nail on the head there. On the head? Right on the head. Um, I th- So I think you just want to be like mono blue, mono red, um, mono white. And by mono red and mono white, I mean like gruel and Azorius. Right. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever they're calling it Whatever. these days. Yeah, those little bad boys. Those kids. All right. We're going to go check out the rest of the uh, the matches going on, if there are any. And uh, we'll be back here soon with the next round. You guys be safe out there. Don't 